Hi, in this tutorial, I will be explaining how to create a custom JSON from your content and how you can execute a particular code on a particular environment or a particular instance. At a high level, in our use case, I will be having nodes which we need to display that information in components. So we have same node on author and publish. So on author, we can straight away display this information to the component, right? We will be iterating node one by one and obviously we will be having some services and all and will display this information to either the table component or somewhere else but in case of publish uh, it will be the performance issues let's say you have 100k nodes or more than 100k nodes in real scenarios so if you keep iterating those there will be the performance issue so what we'll be doing we will have a scheduler or some event handler or something that schedule let's say we will have a scheduler and in the coming tutorial we'll see a few more you know concepts how you can create this JSON using some other models other backend models so let's say we have a scheduler and we'll create a JSON using that scheduler and we will be using this JSON to display that information so in this tutorial you will be seeing this part I will explain how you can create a custom JSON from your content so I have written a scheduler. I will not explain about the scheduler means core concept of scheduler. I have already explained to you in the tutorial series, development tutorial series. So I'll explain a bit about how to create that JSON. Okay. Uh, so I have a OGI configuration to get uh, the information means the inputs which have the expression, how it will be executing and one is skip sites. I'll explain what is that is skip sites. This is of array type and the root path means parent, sites parent. Okay. So in this, okay, in activate, I got all the required information and I got this OSGA configuration. From OSGA configuration, I got whatever I need. This is simple activate, deactivate, remove scheduler. I have already explained this in the core series. Okay, so in as scheduler, I have added that scheduler and it will execute, it will try to find the run method and this is my run method. Important thing is here, okay, because I use designate to use OSGI configuration and in this component service should be runnable to make it scheduler. In this what I'm doing, I have a method called is published. This is my custom method. So you must understand how exactly you get to know which instance it is or which environment it is. You can execute a particular code on a particular instance, means either author or publish, or even a particular environment. Let's say dev, QA, and prod. Okay. So how you get doing that? So there is a service called Sling Setting Service. This Sling Setting Service is a method called get run modes this method will give you all the run modes available with your instance okay what are the, those run modes how you find that what are the run modes so you can go here let's go to system console status hyphen sling settings here you will see all the run modes right it this method give you a set so in that you can check condition contains let's say you need to check whether it's a published so this will be available in your set okay so how you can do it run modes dot contain published so it will give you true yes it contain published so how you can run this code means this method on a particular instance particular environment so you can check QA so if it is a QA environment you will be having some run mode related to QA here so you can check here okay if it is contained QA or and if it is contained publish so you can make some conditions like this so is publish will return true if these run modes contain a publish means if it is a publish instance but you can use same for finding the other environments as well okay so let's come to scheduler again so I use util is publish so if it is true then this code will execute otherwise not that means it will execute only on the published environment I got resources all over I already explained from the resources all over I got page manager from page manager I go to the parent site right which actually I configure in this means parent so what I'm going what I'm getting here if you come here so I gave the path till here geeks tutorial so what I'm going to do I will iterate one by one all of his childs means I will be iterating one by one each country's site so it's a language master it's a blueprint okay then US right now we have only one 
So the code says, I got this page, page manager. From page manager, I got this page by path, and then I got all the children's. This will return all the children's, means all the sites. Okay. Then I keep iterating one by one here. First level is a country. If you see here, it will iterate immediate children's means language master then see us okay us is a country so by iterating this we got the country code as well if it is even more site means india so the code should be in as per the standard okay so i got iterating one by one i got this now i got session from the resource resolver so what i'm going to do now i created a json okay just i'm creating the content for this json so it's a json array okay it's a JSON, uh, let's see which API it is. It's a JSON API, JSON. And I added one more thing in this, exclude or the skip sites, you can say exclude. So what I'm, why exactly I'm doing that? So if you see, if any site in my you know whole brand or say the any country site, I want to exclude from this, you know, execution or creation of uh, JSON. So I can add that in exclude or skip site. So I don't want that because this is not related to any country. So add this as a exclude sites. So I'm excluding those and then I'm iterating one by one. Okay, if site is not included in a skip list, so I'm got in, you know, get this uh, OSGI factory configuration for a specific site. I'm passing the country from that country. I got the uh, OSGI configuration means factory configuration for a particular site which I have already explained or created in previous tutorials. Okay, then I got the parent resource means where the node is using this node path and node name means from node path and node name I will reach till here till this node. Okay, this node. And then I'm iterating one by one. So what I'm doing, I'm iterating one by one. I got one resource, it's a while, one resource per node. And I got the value map from this, means this value map will contain all the properties of that particular node. And then I added that value map in this array, okay, in this JSON array. So finally, after executing everything, this JSON array will containing all the data means all the information of authors means the nodes. So here I got the JSON path means I'm getting what is the name of JSON. This is already explained, you know, is there in OSGI configurations means factory configurations. So I, it will check the configured JSON path and configured JSON name. It create a complete path. We'll check whether this already exists or not because it's a possible when first time it will create JSON but next time it will update so next time this will be available right this JSON will present okay this is the important thing here we got the value factory from the session and from the session we got this JSON you say the JSON array from JSON array I got the string and then this this API IO utils, I converted that to input stream. Okay, once I got the input stream, I provided this input stream to value map factory means this uh, which I we got value value factory. Using this object, I created a binary of this input stream. Right, this is important. You must understand these three lines are important for this tutorial. Okay, now I got the resource JSON path and I got the node. So here we got the node uh, under which we want to create. Basically, this line is not needed. The next line is doing the same thing. Okay, so if we check first whether this JSON is exist, if no, then I will create the name means a file okay under the defined means under a particular site okay the name would be what I define in OSGI configuration file type would be empty file okay I added you know reference type means whatever the property is needed then I added a JCR content node to it I added MIME type now now I added JCR data as a property because this is the property which contain the data actual data and if you see the content value this is basically the binary which I created okay 
and done till here we have created this JSON and now I'm getting I'm just updating last modified and something okay so it will create a JSON file once this execute next time when the JSON will be available already so next time when this execute it will just check else and it will update that JSON data okay you can check how the structure look like I have already created one for you so if you see here this so this is my file right I, I configured this name in OSGI configuration actual data will be here in JCR content you will see the JCR data this will contain the binary data okay so that way you can create JSON I'll give this code in my repository git repo you can take this code from there so this whole code will be executed on publish instance because I added a condition we can restrict some in some other ways as well I'll explain later means in coming tutorials so after execution of this scheduler a file will be created and if you open it you can see the data as well right but binary data is stored in this data property so every time if you this data now you can use this JSON to display to get as a source to display this information somewhere we'll see how you can actually iterate this data and display this data from the JSON okay we'll see that in coming tutorials so I hope you understood if you have any question please do comment I'll give this code to git repo I'll commit you can take it from there thank you